All right, we need to remove the motor from the base. We're gonna knock these pins out and we can free it up. Yeah, once you get this out, we can go about cleaning everything. This should just lift out now, hopefully. Yep, it sure does. Hey, look at that, disgusting. We're gonna go ahead and clean that up. Let's get this muffler off. Holy, crap's on there tight. Try this one. Oh yeah. Supposed to be a spark arrest in there, but that's long gone. Getting going first thing in the morning. Got to go to the parts store, do some groceries, and my friend Derek's coming over to change the fucking spark plugs and wires in his van because he had a misfire code show up a little while ago. His van has over 100,000 kilometers and never had the plugs changed out of the wires, so doing some late preventative maintenance. Construction everywhere you go. Sucks balls. Pit stop at auto value. Ran some errands first thing in the morning, then Derek came over, changed some spark plugs and wires in his van. I didn't do a video on that because that's pretty basic. Even though those videos are good for like views, I'm only gonna focus on stuff that's a little bit more advanced that people might really wanna see and learn something. So we're gonna continue working on the Honda generator later but I need to install these aux beam lights in the Jeep. I got these a while ago, so I probably should install them. I was at the auto parts store. If you're looking to make gaskets, the right stuff is by far the best stuff to use. It's, this stuff is expensive, but it's so worth it. So there we are right here. We've got the aux beam light on the passenger side, the driver's side has a KC headlight conversion with an LED bulb in it. I definitely like the aux beam light better. That was about a 10 minute job to install the headlights. And they look all right. Those lights turned out to be pretty good. Now, I need to continue working on this. Get this finished up. At least get the timing belt in today. I gotta set the top dead center. And then once we're at top dead center, we can start removing the cover there. And then place the timing belt, start assembling it. It's gonna be good. I'm trying to get this gear off. If I go like that, and then yeah, we just pulled it straight out. I put the new belt on. My timing marks as so, feed the belt down through the bottom, line up the timing marks, we're going to push down, perfect. Things are moving along quite fast now. Got the covers back on, the exhaust back on, timing belts installed, valve covers on. We just got to replace the rope, <clears throat> do some more tests for some videos, and boom, this project will be finished. All right, it's motherfucking beer time. Rolling rock. Been liking this beer. Price is right through. For the longest time, the liquor store was only able to get it in bottles. I've been rocking it in cans now. It's only a dollar more than the old Milwaukee, but it's a little bit of a better beer, I think. Oh, it tastes so good. Hiccups, 
Yeah, so this project's coming along pretty good, the Honda EU 2000i. Haven't done covered any issues with it yet. Oh, excuse me. Been filming a ton of troubleshooting videos that are gonna be on my other channel. Um, still haven't located the source of that rattle. <coughs> Fuck, cold. Why am I coughing? This cold has been going on. I thought it was over with, it's coming back. Fuck it, I don't know. Anyways. I haven't found the source of the rattle. This thing has been completely stripped down, so we'll see how it runs once we get it back together, see if that rattle's still there. But I'm gonna head her inside. I could finish this today, but I got about 10 videos to edit. So, if you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.